everyone today I am going to be unboxing the ipsy plus bag for the month of October I am so excited for this bag this is the upgraded bag to the ipsy bag so it is $25 a month um, but you get five full size plus items in your bag so I'm extremely excited I didn't hesitate on upgrading because I feel like it was the best volume so the first item in the box is this beautiful, beautiful makeup bag. I am really loving this makeup bag. I actually did want to get a new makeup bag for my purse anyways. And I think this is a perfect size bag. It's really, really nicely made. And a full size brush. That's why I wanted to get a new makeup bag because I wanted a full size brush to be able to fit in it. And this, this is a full size brush and this easily fits into the bag so I think it's a generous size to put a lot of makeup in so the next item that we have which is the first product that I will be trying out on my face is this Smashbox cover shop bold glitter eye palette this palette is gorgeous I did go into Sephora and actually swatch this the day before that I got this I was super excited just to see how it is the packaging the packaging is amazing look at this that's so great and it's really nicely like packaged they do have a mirror in here and then the mirror is really nice as well there's a little film that comes on this so you just want to take that off and then this is the colors look at how sparkly and nice that looks gorgeous right I'm just gonna swatch a couple just so you can see I'm gonna swatch the purplish color right here. That is so pretty, right? Oh my God, look how much glitter that is in. It's just really, really pretty and vibrant. This blue, like that is a dream. And then I'm actually gonna use this shade on my lid. This is one of my favorite like glitter shades in this palette the glitter does not flick off it does not like it's i can tell these are going to be extremely easy to work with due to the fact that it doesn't the glitter is not getting everywhere like it really does stay put on there look at when i smudge it on my other finger you know you don't you get a little bit so yeah that is all the colors in here and we're gonna do that all over the lid and I'm gonna put another transition color in my lid. I already started out with bronzer in my lid so I'm just gonna do one other transition color and then I'm gonna put this all over my lid. So I have this e.l.f. palette. Um, this didn't come in the box but I'm just gonna use this a dark, darker blush color in my crease as well. is what I love about makeup you can honestly use anything for a multiple multiple ways like this is a blush and I'm gonna just use it as eyeshadow it's really pigmented so it's really it shows up on my eyes which I love but it's also a really nice blush so I'm just gonna keep you know blending this in my crease and then I'll start I'll put the smashbox shadow on there I wanted this to look a little bit more vibrant. I wanted another vibrant color because it's glitter, so I wanted to make the look kind of look more, the transition color to look a little bit more popping. I mean, you could use the bronzer and just put the glitter on there, but I just wanted to look a little bit more done up. And I'm gonna go back with my little, you know, the key to a really pretty eye look is Blending, blending, blending. So I'm just gonna keep blending this. I'm actually probably gonna use another glitter shade. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm actually gonna use another glitter shade only because I already used that glitter shade that I just said I was gonna use already. So I think I'm gonna go in with, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. 
I'm actually gonna go in with this really champagne color here. This is really nice and it would have really complemented this look, but I haven't used this one up here. So I'm gonna go in with this nice champagne looking color. Just gonna use like a flat fluffy brush. Pat this on. And guys, this is not a spray over. Like this color shows up like this. So the best way to probably use this product is with your finger. You probably get the most payout and less mess. So I'm gonna just go in lightly with the brush on both eyes and then pack on the, the pigment with my finger and then go back with the brush again. These are gorgeous. So that's it with just the brush. It's really pretty. And then I'm gonna put in the middle my fingers. I'm gonna put it on with my fingers in the middle. Just to get a little bit more intensity. Like, look at that, it's so pretty. And then I'm gonna clean up the edges with the transition color that I was using, the blush, just to clean up everything. So that's how it looks on the lids. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I wish you can see it in person because the glitter in this is so pretty. You can create so many really, really nice so you can create so many good looks with this palette. I think it's just a really good item in this box. The next item is this liquid eyeliner, the Eco one. These all came in really nice packaging. It did come in this its proper packaging, which I really like. It was just thrown in the box. The box was really nice. It had cotton in there to keep the product safe. And this is the eyeliner. It's full size as well, as well just as the other items are. And this is how the eyeliner swatches really nice, really pigmented black. I'm not gonna put the eyeliner on now just cause I just wanna keep the eyeshadow popping and more vibrant, but it is a really nice eyeliner and it does really look nice on the skin. The next item I'm really excited about, it's this Tarte Mascara. I believe this is the Man Eater Mascara. It's really supposed to give a length and your and volume to your lashes without clumping it so you can really load up the product and it will will still look really nice on your lashes so I'm I am gonna try this on right now this is the one and that's how it looks really short bristles to really get in your lashes okay so a couple things about this mascara really cute packaging it's really good easy to hold and maneuver with the mascara itself is really nice formula the only thing i wish it did was a little bit more length because my lashes are really short so that's a really important factor when it comes to mascara to me but it absolutely does not clump you can definitely load up on this mascara and it will still give you that really nice separation and the formula is really easy to glide onto your lids and i really like it i don't know if it flakes or anything yet but so far i really see myself using this mascara a lot and it did look make my eyelashes look really nice they don't look clumped up they just really made the eyes open which i really really like i really do like the eye look all together right now next product is this morphe highlighter and this is in the color extra and it does come with um, an amazing mirror this mirror is so nice so clear you can see really really well in this mirror and then this is the highlighter of course i already swatched it but i'm gonna give you a proper swatch now really nice vibrant color really nice buttery formula so i am gonna try it on now for you guys i haven't tried it on my skin yet so Already what I see is it's really, really bright and shining. 
you can definitely build this highlighter up to the intensity that you would like. I started out with a lot to be honest, so it's coming off really vibrant. It's a little bit light for, you know, my skin tone to be honest, but I do see this as a really good topper because it's coming off so vibrant and light. Yeah, this is nice. It, I love how buttery and like smooth it feels. It doesn't feel chunky at all. It just is like a really nice, smooth highlighter. It's a little bit too light, but honestly, it is really nice on the skin. Like, it looks lighter on this side than it does on this side. Hmm, that's really weird. I think I just build it up a little bit more. So that's how the highlighter looks. And honestly, it is a really nice highlighter. I really like it. This is this is my first Morphe product. I was really excited to see this in my box because I always hear about Morphe products. Of course, if you watch YouTube, you hear about Morphe all the time. But first product that I'm getting, it is pretty awesome. So I'm really excited that they included this in the Ipsy box. So the next product is this Ciate Dewy Spray and it says sh shake to activate. So I'm gonna shake it really well, but it's so pretty. Look at that, that's gorgeous. This is a really dewy setting spray. The spray does come out a little harsh to be honest, but if you just hold it back enough and really spray the nozzle all the way down, you'll get a decent spray on it it's a little harsh you see the droplets on my face but this I used this yesterday and it will uh, completely give you that dewy look like it will make your highlighter pop even more it will give your skin complexion just a nice healthy glow and I think this is an amazing product for the winter time I know people will probably use this more in the summertime if their face is dry but I'm oily so I don't need any extra shine in the summertime in the winter time, this is better for me because my skin does get a little drier and just to give it a little bit more healthier look, I would want to go into something like this. I'm really excited that we we received this in our box because we usually normally just get makeup. We don't usually see setting sprays, so it was really nice to see a setting spray item in the box. And then the last product, the last product is, I believe it's just the initial, so it's LXMI. This is a pure um, oil. It's only one ingredient. It's a nourishing balm to oil. So it starts out like a solid and then it melts down to more of an oil. And this is the packaging. Complete. This is the packaging. It's completely gorgeous. This is full size. And let me show you the balm to this. So that's how it looks and it's completely hydrating. I also used this product yesterday so I can give a fair review today on the video. And you see how shiny and nice it is? So then I washed my hands once I already put it on my hand. I washed my hands with, shamp um, with soap and then after I washed my hands, my hands still felt moisturized. I honestly am gonna use this product for my feet because I just feel like during the winter time that's where I need the most moisture so I think this is an amazing box item to see in the box um, during this time because it's already cold where I live and if you are familiar with shea butter that's pretty much what this is I have been using shea butter for years and it is a really moisturizing product I'm in love with the packaging so cute and it really, really does hydrate the skin. Look at, look at how hydrating that looks. Gorgeous. It says that you could also use this product anywhere on your body. You can use it for your lips, you can use it for your elbows, you can use this for your skin, you can use this for your face. Anywhere on your body you can use this product and it's really gonna bring that hydrating aspect to your skin. So yeah, that was all of my items in my Ipsy bag. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more unboxing, unbagging videos. Bye.